On our guided prayer journey today, we are focusing on the word Jehovah Rapha. For the next few moments, we are going to lean into the word of God together. I encourage you to close your eyes, clear your mind, relax your shoulders, your face, your jaw, and maybe even open your hands and take a deep breath. Jehovah Rapha means the Lord who heals in Hebrew. In Psalms 103, three through five in the message, it says, he forgives your sins, everyone. He heals your diseases, everyone. He redeems you from hell, saves your life. He crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. He renews your youth. You're always young in his presence. Jesus didn't come to heal just physical suffering, but came to heal us mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. When Jesus was walking the earth, he healed the physical wound as well as the heart wound. He took time to minister to both. Throughout the New Testament, you can see Jesus' healing power at work. He went from city to city healing and doing miracles for those that came to watch him. He also spoke truth to those that would listen and preach the gospel, the good news of salvation. We are in relationship with a healer that cares about our being to the core. The heart of our Father wants his people to live in complete and total healing. He sees the hurt when no one else can, and his promise to you is that he is close to your broken heart and holding you when you can't find the strength. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Thank you for healing every aspect of our being from physical to mental and emotional hurt. We ask that when we feel most broken, we are reminded of whose we are. We are children of the Most High, and your promises are yes and amen. We declare your healing over every part of our lives. Your perfect love will restore and renew every situation. As we continue on our day, I ask that we are reminded of your divine healing and accept your love with our heart unabandoned to you. We praise your name for the miracles that are to come, the miracles that are in progress, and for those that we have already witnessed. Jesus, we love you. Amen.